നമസ്കാരം വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ഇൻട്രോഡക്ടറി സെഷൻ ഓഫ് കൊറിയർ ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ഇൻ ദിസ് സെഷൻ വി വിൽ സി എ സിമ്പിൾ ഇലസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് നോയ്സ് റിഡക്ഷൻ യൂസിംഗ് കൊറിയർ ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ദിസ് പവർഫുൾ ടൂൾ വാസ് പ്രപ്പോസ്ഡ് ബൈ ഫ്രഞ്ച് മാത്തമാറ്റീഷ്യൻ ജീൻ ബാപ്റ്റിസ്റ്റ് ജോസഫ് ഫോറിയർ ഇൻ എയ്റ്റീൻ സെഞ്ചുറി ദീസ് ആർ ദ സം ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫോറിയർ ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം It is applicable to non-periodic functions. We know that Fourier series is applicable only for periodic functions. But this Fourier transform is applicable uh, periodic as well as non-periodic functions. Okay. And also it is used in digital signal processing, noise reduction and image processing. It is the definition of complex form of Fourier transform. There are varieties of Fourier transform. We will see some of them uh, in this course fourier transform is one of the most widely used tool in the scientific world it is widely used in signal processing using this transform we can transform a problem in time domain to a frequency domain the one main application of this concept is to reduce noise in a signal this may be sound signal or electromagnetic signal in communication or even a digital picture okay now we will see the strength of this transformation in noise reduction it is a transformation or a function from one space to another space for example we consider two spaces one is in time domain other is frequency domain consider a sound signal here this is time and this is amplitude of this sound signal so this is the representation of sound in time domain so a time domain graph can show how a signal changes with respect to time we can also represent this same signal in frequency domain why because every signal is a composition or sum of different base frequencies and a base frequency means a signal with the uniform frequency and constant amplitude okay let's see how to split this sound signal as sum of its base frequencies for demo purpose i created this sound signal as uh, sum of these two base frequencies this signal plus this signal will give this sound signal okay it is clear that these two are base frequencies because its frequency is 3 because it's a one uh, one second time interval this length is one second time interval so 1 2 3 it completes two cycle okay so its frequency is 3 Uh, and it is clear that its amplitude is constant it's somewhere 7 okay its amplitude is 7 similarly this also a base frequency because its frequency is 11 and its amplitude is 3 okay so these are the examples of base frequency okay anyway uh, some of these two uh, signals gives this sound signal okay now we are ready to represent this signal in frequency domain so we consider Uh, a domain in frequency that means we plot frequencies on x axis and this is our amplitude similar to this one amplitude okay so uh, it is clear that this signal has only two base frequencies one is frequency with uh, 3 other one is 11 okay that means the amplitudes corresponding to all other frequencies are zero and at 3 we have a, a frequency th- because its frequency is 3 and what is the amplitude 7 so we can plot like this suppose this height is 7 so that means there is a base frequency at 3 with amplitude 7 okay and we have one more base frequency at 11 with uh, amplitude is 3 so we can plot like this okay so this is the uh, frequency representation of uh, this signal clear so this is 3 so this means 
this signal contains a base frequency of 3 with the amplitude 7 and this means this signal contains a base frequency of 11, 11 with the amplitude 3 okay that means uh, so this is the uh, frequency representation of this same signal clear okay so this is the frequency representation of this sound signal this sound signal contains only two base frequencies at 3 and 11 and the amplitude of this uh, frequency is 3 and this is 7 okay so <clears throat> a frequency domain graph shows how much of signal lies in each given frequencies okay okay there is a natural question how to find this frequency domain representation if time domain representation is not and also it's reverse reverse means if you know the frequency domain representation then how to find the original signal original signal or a time domain representation uh, this first part this first part will be done by fourier transform and this by its inverse that is inverse fourier transform in the case of uh, in the case of digital signal processing we use first fourier transform it is the discrete version or digital version of a fourier transform okay next we will see how to use fourier transform and its and its inverse in noise reduction suppose this is our original sound signal but we have received this noisy signal due to some disturbances our aim is to recover this original sound from this contaminated signal Fourier transform does this job easily with high clarity so our first step is uh, we apply the Fourier transform on this noisy signal that will give the frequency representation of this noisy sound okay and also this amplitude is calculated from the power spectral density of the Fourier, uh, Fourier transform we can see that the amplitude of all the frequencies except 3 and 11 are very small is less than 0.5 For, for demo purpose, I have shown only this 13 frequencies. This noisy sound may contain thousands of base frequencies. Okay. In next step, we will recover this dominant frequencies using a simple frequency filter. For example, we use a filter like this. We extract all the frequencies with the amplitude greater than 1 okay so this may be 2 okay so we have to fix a threshold here that depending on the context anyway in this example i fixed uh, this threshold as 1 so i'm going to extract all the frequencies with the amplitude greater than 1 using a simple frequency filter so this is the uh, graph of this is the uh, frequency representation of that filtered signal so it has only two frequencies so one frequency at 3 other frequency at 11 okay you can see that their amplitude they are almost similar to our original uh, signal in our original signal there are two base frequencies one is at 3 other is at 11 and what is the amplitude of this base frequency that is 7 in original signal here it is 7 point something a slight difference is there and this is almost three almost correct perfect okay, anyway we recovered two base frequencies from this contaminated signal i used this symbol code in python uh, psd means power spectral density or amplitude whatever we know power that depending on the, our algorithm it is greater than some threshold i fixed it is as one okay anyway now we have a uh, filtered frequencies are there so next we have to recover 
the signal from this recovered frequencies. We can easily recover the signal from this uh, filtered frequencies using inverse Fourier transform. That means by applying this inverse Fourier transform on this uh, filtered frequencies, this will give our uh, recovered signal. Okay. Uh, geometrically, what is this? Uh, what is this means? This means we draw these two base frequencies and take the sum. That will give this recovered signal. That means that means this signal is equal to sum of these two signals. What about the first one? First one is the signal base frequency corresponding to this uh, frequency three because its uh, height is somewhere seven point something. So I take some seven point one. Or B. So this is our base frequency corresponding to 3 and this is our base frequency corresponding to 11. Its amplitude is almost 3. So then we take the sum of these two frequencies. That will give this signal. So this is our recovered signal. Okay. Next we are going to compare this recovered signal and original signal. Yes, it is slightly, slightly greater than 7. Here we draw uh, original sound and uh, recovered sound in same uh, graph. You can see they are almost same. There is slight difference here. You can see there is a slight difference in this portion and uh, I think here also some significant difference. But almost they are same. Okay. If you want more accuracy, one can apply a machine learning algorithm on the top of this recovered signal. That may give better result. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, the Fourier transform did a wonderful job against noise. I have done uh, the signal processing part in Python. This is the Jupyter Notebook of a uh, source file. First I created two uh, base frequencies and by taking the sum of these two base frequencies we get a sound signal like this. Uh, then using for a fast Fourier transform, uh, this is FFT, using for fast Fourier transform we can find the frequency representation of original signal that is exactly 7 and 3 amplitudes are correct. All other frequencies are zero. Then we generate a noise using a random sample. So each time you run, you will get different noise because we use a random function. Okay. Anyway, we generate a noise, then we add this noise to our original signal. Then we get a noisy sound. Okay. So our aim is to recover this original sound from this noise sound. Then we take the Fourier transform, we apply the Fourier transform on this noisy sound, we get the frequency spectrum. Then using a simple noise filter, this is, okay, sorry, I am fixed uh, threshold as 2. Anyway, we fix a appropriate threshold, then we recover our uh, uh, signal. Okay, we recovered uh, dominant frequencies. And we using inverse Fourier transform, this IFFT, using inverse Fourier, inverse fast Fourier transform, we plot our recovered signal and this is our original signal. Okay, so this is the idea. You can download this uh, Jupyter notebook from my GitHub and provide the link in description. You can play with uh, different base frequencies and more base frequencies. Okay. Thank you.